Hey guys, it's Jay with, uh, well, Grieving Soul. I almost said it's Jay with Achievement Reaper. That's kind of sad on so many levels. Um, now, I just want to do a quick little tutorial on how to get HD widescreen in Windows Movie Maker. You're going to have to download, um, you're going to have to download an exporting plugin for it, and I will post a link in the description of where to get that once I find it. Uh, if I even have it on here, I just realized I didn't have it. Anyways, um, normally on this, you, uh, okay, mine's widescreen already, so y'all y'all can just soak it. Um, yeah. anyways, mine's widescreen already, as you can plainly tell. I don't like Windows Movie Maker because you can't adjust the frames so that the black lines are gone, but you can do widescreen. If you go to Tools, Options, um... Go to general and you can download codecs and whatnot automatically. Go to advanced. Now, if you go down here to video properties, you can see aspect ratio 4-3 four, four, four or 16-9. Um, PAL, I don't know what the difference is between PAL and NTSC. But I chose NTSC for normal and 16 by 9 which automatically puts it at widescreen. Now, this is what happens when you, like, go and use fucking, you know, like, fucking square box stuff that YouTube used to use. Um, options, you can go b back to options, you can go to 16 by wide, 16 by 9 widescreen, and it'll do widescreen, and that'll be all you have to do for settings, basically. Now, it'll automatically save it, so you don't have to, like, save it, and boom, you have to keep doing it over and over again. It's automatic. Um, now, for rendering, you just go to save to my computer, Again, the download link is below, and I'll show you where to put the thing to whatnot, yeah. Um, next, basically, you can do this, and it'll do automatically do widescreen usually, but if it doesn't, you can also go down to here. Um, HW, uh, WMV HD by Death Panda, and it'll automatically do that, and I'll just go back quickly and put this on my desktop. Just so I know it's there. And you got this, and it's, it's only like 4 megabytes for like 5 seconds. I know, that's pretty good. I have to admit, that's pretty damn good. Uh, 6.3 megabytes per second, six, uh, 24 frames, 16 by 9, 1280 by 720. Now, I kind of prefer this kind of setting, but I automatically use Vegas for all my things. Now, it's going to render quickly, uh, well, at least as quickly as I hope it does. And 9%, awesome. Let's take a quick sip from my awesome mug while this uh, thing does it. So yes, um, it's been kind of warm lately, I have to admit. That's, it's been pretty warm. I think it's been up to like 32 degrees here. I know, it's pretty screwed up. I think the weather patterns are changing. Okay, it's going a lot slower than I expected. Anyways, um... Basically, I'll just put the link down below to where to download this uh, HDWMV codec, and I'll show you where to put the codec in, and you can render in HD on Mo Windows Movie Maker. I know, it's pretty amazing. And I know, Windows Movie Maker used to give me a lot of heck, but compared to Sony Vegas, I have to admit, that's pretty f***ing awesome. Now, I'm just going to go down here uh, to uh, my video, so... I'm gonna go down here. Um, now I have to figure out where the fuck I put that movie. I think it's this one? Yes. So this is the movie and it's in widescreen. Okay, the, the sound didn't exactly come out as planned. But um, that's how you render in full screen. Let me just ch check something quickly. Yeah, no, the audio is a little fucked up. Um, saved my computer, uh, let me just check something quickly. Uh, I don't, let me see. If you choose the high, high, this, if you choose this, um, I think, I don't think it'll change anything really. I, I might, it might take a little longer to render, or not. Wow. Wow, that's going really fast. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it should still be in HD though. Uh, no, it's better if you, uh, use the HD setting. 
I prefer not to use Windows Movie Maker when it comes to audio because it's, well, it's just plain bad. Yeah. So anyways, that's how you render in Windows Movie Maker HD widescreen. And if you have any questions, concerns, you can ask me below and I will answer as quickly as, quickly as I can. Thanks. See ya.